Hey guys, uh, right, so this is gonna be how to set up your drive-by wire on your ECU Master Black. Okay. In our case, this is for a 2JZ. Um, we're just using the 2JZ GE VBTI throttle body. So don't worry about that so much. The process is exactly the same for everybody. So effectively, I've done the whole video where I've set up the inputs and outputs correctly. So uh, if you want to go back and have a look at that, I'm just going to use the GoPro camera now to go through all of this. Uh, hopefully it comes up relatively clear once it's rendered. So what I've done so far is I've created a tab called Drive-By-Wire and I've got the important things open. So I've got all the Drive-By-Wire parameters. I've got the idle parameters so I can set it as uh, Drive-By-Wire. Okay. I've got the TPS sensor set up because as I said in the other one, obviously the TPS input is actually the pedal position sensor. In this tuning table, I've got TPS percentage and voltage, so I can confirm those figures and put them in. So to start off with, the first thing I normally do is we look at the voltage at 0%, so I know the pedal is completely not pressed. So that's showing 0.39 volts. So you'll see in here, so I don't even know if it's gonna come up here, but I'm gonna change that to 0.39 volts. Okay, that just matches up with what we've got over there. Okay, then I'm going to go to, obviously that's your minimum voltage, this is your maximum voltage. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open my pedal to full. And you can see there, 3.69 volts. So just to double check on here, but it is already 3.69 volts, so that's absolutely fine. Okay, so now I know that my pedal is absolutely correct. Um, obviously we're happy with the wiring so we know the throttle motor and everything is connected as it should be these particular drive-by wires have a clutch so make sure that that's got power and ground to activate the clutch okay and obviously we're going to go through here so we have enabled the drive-by wire okay and effectively ECU master has made it really really nice and easy and all you're going to do is going to go up to tools and you're going to go down to right at the bottom it says drive-by wire calibration tool okay once you open that, you're gonna get there. Now what's gonna happen is the throttle pedal is gonna go through all of these weird stages and I'm gonna show you on the camera what it's doing. It's opening and closing, checking spring and clamp force, etc. But all you do now is you hit start and you'll see it starts up, checking motor direction. If I come over here, you can actually see the throttle blade itself is going through a whole bunch of motions. It's fully closing, fully opening. Uh, it does PID tuning as well at the end, so it basically takes care of everything for you. So you'll see it just goes through the whole process over here. I do hope this comes out clearer when it's rendered. But yeah, so all we do now is we physically wait. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video a second while we're waiting and I'll come back in a second. Okay, we're back again. So it's now finished its uh, setup. You'll see it has actually tuned the PID as well. So that's effectively how you set up your drive-by-wire. So once we've done that, we can go on exit. Now, one thing that's caught me out in the past when I was first doing this is when you're looking at the drive-by-wire setup, what you'll notice is if you come down to the menu here and you go to the drive-by-wire setup there, you've got all your parameters which you've got open here. But right at the bottom here, you've got characteristics one, characteristics two. Okay, so this is basically what you can have is obviously like a switchable throttle pedal. Now, sometimes it's default, especially if you use a base map that hasn't got drive-by wire on, these values are all zero. So that means no matter how much you press the pedal, the ECU is never gonna know to actually open the throttle. It's gonna assume that whether the TPS is at 0% or 100%, the throttle should always be zero. So just keep that in mind. And obviously the reason you have two characteristics is so effectively you can have two throttle maps. Okay, so you see this one is kind of like a default, so you see it's all zero. So if I had this map, this throttle map activated, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to open the throttle because it's all on zero. Okay, so basically what you can do here is I'll just close these down. So again, just make sure. Now that one, just as a default, I've just literally made it linear. That's not how drive-by-wire works. Uh, so once you get it to tuning, they can set your drive-by-wire throttle to be more realistic. So you'd want like a a less of an opening down at the bottom and sort of have like a sort of gradual curve going up to the top that'll make it more realistic uh, you don't really want it to be absolutely you know one to one the whole way across there okay 
Right, so that's basically how you set up the drive by wire. It literally is as simple as that. There are obviously all the settings that you can go into, like I said, the characteristics, um, things like you know gear shift, etc., etc. It does have cruise control as well, so you can set that all up. I'm not going to go into that majorly because that's something that I suppose you just have your conversation with your tuner, exactly what you want to do and want to set up. Um, if you guys want, uh, we can do more videos on how to exactly do you know more specific things, but you just need to write down in the bottom and tell me what you want. We'll speak to ECU Master and see if we can put together some videos on, on how to set that up. Okay, so again, that's really, really nice and simple. Um, I'll do a separate video on idle control because uh, it's a little bit to understand. And what I'll do is I'll go back to the computer for that and we'll get that all set up. So for now, that's how you set up your drive-by wire. And if you come and have a look here, you'll see nice and straightforward. So you see that's, that's completely linear. So you can actually watch the blade if I can get out of this, so as I'm moving the throttle, you'll see the blade is moving exactly the same time. That's because it's one to one, which is not ideal. If you're driving with that, you'll know about it straight away. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll crack on with some other ones. And like I said, if you've got any other questions or anything specifically about ECU Master you want us to do, fire us a question below in the comments uh, or send us a message on our Facebook page. All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye.